Well hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now I've just finished my last little bit of teaching for a couple of weeks because I'm going to take a bit of time over the Easter holidays and um, I need to take stock over that time and think about what's been working and what hasn't worked and what, what changes I need to make in my teaching. And we're going to be talking about this tomorrow in the community. In fact, we're having our, um, our first webinar about this whole subject of teaching online and really getting down into some specifics, building on what we've learned already. And I uh, do hope you know that at the moment we've got uh, a whole month of free support for any teacher out there. Um, please do come and join us in the community and you get a whole month of exploring all our curiosity boxes and all that we have on offer as well as all the webinars and all the materials that we've got in the planning stage so I'll put the link down below in a moment okay but um, I just wanted to talk about uh, three things that we're going to be discussing to in tomorrow's webinar and that is parents um, contracts and scheduling now I know parents I do feel for parents and they have so much to cope with at the moment. They've got the children at home. Um, they have got, and on holiday, I think in the UK certainly, and they, a lot of them have got jobs that they're also trying to run or they're self-employed and their job has stopped. And they've got all this emotional stuff that, that, that they are struggling to deal with as we all are in this current new world. Um, and I think the way we, piano teacher, can help is by giving them simple choices about the situation and being decisive ourselves about simple things like um, the availability of lessons and when those lessons are going to be available and what they're going to consist of. So the more decisive you can be about your teaching and its worth and its value, I'm going to write a blog about that this week, so do look out for that, um, then I think the, the, the easier parents will, will find it to make a decision about whether to continue with lessons or whether to stop lessons or put them on pause. Yeah. So the clearer you are, then the, the, the easier it is for the parents. If you're not, if you're a little bit woolly, then you need to sit down and really, really think it through what it is you're offering, how you're offering it, what the advantages are of what you're offering and why you think it's a really positive thing for the child to continue doing. So that would be the first thing, parents, and we're going to be looking at that, as I say, in more depth tomorrow in the webinar in the afternoon. And the second thing I want to talk about are contracts. And we've been talking and thinking quite a bit about whether we need to change our contracts or whether we just need to update contracts. And I think that our thinking at the moment is that we just need to probably um, add to our contracts. We just need to add a new clause to the contract that will cover the online work and just make sure that we are protected. And of course, in the UK, we've got um, the MU, which is also providing advice on this on their website, and also the ISM. And again, there is advice from our, our, our um, professional bodies. And I'm sure the same it goes for whether you're in the States or whether you're in Australia and anybody who wants to post a, a link to those below is more than welcome if you're over there in the States or in Australia. So contracts, do do check out your contract and make sure that you're you're covered for everything. And then the last thing is, is scheduling. And I don't know about you, but I think we've all a lot of people are finding online teaching really, really hard work. And so I've been spreading my teaching out far more. Now, I don't have an awful lot of pupils. I have 14 in total, which is nothing compared to, I know some people who have got 60 pupils. Um, how you'd fit that in, I'm not entirely sure. And maybe some choices you have to make at that point um, about whether or not you can fit all those people in and look after yourself. You know, that goes back to what I was saying last week. We've got to look after ourselves because um, if our health begins to suffer by the pressure of work that's going on, then that's not helpful for anybody, really. But I've been um, looking at my schedule. I split my times up and I've actually um, I use an app called or a, um, a, an online software called Calendly that helps me to um, show parents when my availability is. I send them the link and then they can book in the lessons and I can link it up as well with Zoom, which is what I happen to use 
for delivering lessons. So that all works really nicely and it cuts down some of the admin. So those are my three things for today. Um, parents and contracts and scheduling. And I'd like to say again, thank you so much for watching and we're going to continue um, trying to help you and give you whatever support we can um, in the Curious Piano Teachers. If you'd like to come and join us in the community of the Curious Piano Teachers, I'll put the link below. Completely free support for a whole month. That's absolutely no strings attached. Um, and we are doing a webinar on these three topics tomorrow where we'll be really, really digging into depth. And the great thing is that we all share our expertise and our knowledge so that actually we're, we're greater than our own individual um, thoughts and ideas. We can actually really pull positive thoughts together and move forward as a, as a profession. So wherever you are in the world, do take care, look after yourselves, stay safe, um, keep washing those hands. I probably won't be back next week. I'm going to say that definitely. I won't be back next week because it's the Easter break, but I'll be back again in two weeks with more Tuesday teaching tips. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.